Live from the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 News at 5 on your side. No one ever wants to hear about an attempted abduction. It's horrible. Right now at 5, a community on alert after a man tries to grab a teenage girl off the street. Now, that teenage girl did manage to fight off her attacker, and she escaped. But the man behind the attempted abduction also got away. It all unfolded in a neighborhood along Robert Lewis Avenue in Upper Marlboro. Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell has spent all day in that community. He joins us live from there, where police are canvassing the area right now. Brad. Yeah, live, we can show you exactly what's going on. You can see the police have pulled up, set up their blinky lights, and what they're doing now is they're stopping cars as they come into the neighborhood and telling them what happened last night, how this 16-year-old girl was grabbed by a man, and what they're doing is they're handing out flyers, anything they can possibly do to let the community know this danger exists and also find out who this person is so they can get them off the streets. In this neighborhood, everybody we speak to asks the same troubling what if question. What if the 16 year old girl hadn't been able to run from her alleged attacker? So, this is a rude awakening. It's horrible. We've seen this happen too many times. Uh, the one up in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yeah, we don't know what's going on. According to the victim's 13-year-old sister, whose identity we are protecting, the 16-year-old never imagined the man walking quickly behind her could mean harm. Even when he grabbed her, she thought it may have been a friend until he yelled, shut up, you're coming with me. At that point, she broke free and ran to her house. Her sister says she cried all night long. And it's shocking and it's nervous. You don't want your kids to go outside. For Lee Ty Gibson, that's in part because she believes earlier this week she saw a man matching the suspect description in last night's attempted abduction. A black male, five feet six inches tall, 130 pounds, wearing a gray beanie and a gray and yellow jacket. Oh my goodness, this is so scary. I mean, it, it could be any of our children, and I'm, I'm not surprised that I know who the child is because this is a very close-knit community. Well, very close-knit community, and people say that when they see someone that doesn't belong here, they notice it, and that was the case in this neighborhood. One of the neighbors said she saw someone matching the description in this flyer, so police are hoping that somebody here can provide the clue that gives everybody here peace of mind once again. In Upper Marlboro, Brad Bell, ABC7 News. All right, thank you, Brad. Now